What is up? I'm about to show you the exact system and funnel I use to generate leads for my SEO agency on autopilot. If you have or you want to manage SEO clients, then this video is for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply this system to your own business. I run an SEO agency called The Search Initiative, which does seven figures annually, and this is growing year on year. But like any agency owner, my time is stretched, just like yours is. Which is why you need automated systems for everything, including lead generation, especially lead generation. No client is gonna stay on board forever, so you need a constant stream of incoming leads. And here's how you do it on autopilot. The system is based on numbers that you definitely have access to, and and some very simple math. If you can do addition, multiplication, and division, then you can do this. I believe in you. First, we're gonna be figuring out your customer lifetime value, or LTV. In fact, you should already know these numbers, and if you don't, then you definitely need to do this exercise right now. Like literally, now. Once you figure out the lifetime value of your customers, we're gonna be building a system that delivers leads to you for cheaper than this lifetime value so you can actually make a profit. To calculate LTV is really simple. You take the total profit of the business divided by the total number of clients. You can do this for the total lifetime of the business. So what's the total profit the business has ever made divided by the total number of clients the business has ever had. But I recommend doing it in the last year because well, your profit margins are probably better than when you first started off. Here's an example. If last year your company made $100,000 in profit and you had 20 customers, then each customer's lifetime value is $5,000. It's really that simple. Now we're gonna figure out what's the maximum you would ever want to pay to acquire one of these $5,000 customers. To do this, we need to know your conversion rate, which is what percentage of the time do you convert leads. We then multiply that by your lifetime value to get the maximum you could ever pay for a lead and break even. So for example, if you convert 5% of leads, then the max you should pay for a lead to break even is 5% times 5,000, so $250 each but you want to actually make some money, so let's put a profit buffer in there. Let's say you wanted to make 40% profit, then your ideal cost per lead is 60% times your maximum cost per lead. So using the example from before, we'd want to ideally pay $90 for a lead. This is what's called knowing your numbers, and this important figure is gonna allow us to scale your lead generation. Since you now know how much to pay for a lead, I'm gonna show you how to build a system using paid ads that's gonna deliver these leads for much less than that. To show you how well this works, Here's how much I'm paying for a lead, just $23. Now before I jump into the next part, if you like what you've seen so far, do me a favor and just hit that like button. That'll show me and the YouTube algorithm that I should make more videos like this. Now let's get started creating your lead generation funnel. If you've been servicing any clients, then hopefully you have some big wins under your belt. If not, then seriously, that's your first order of business. But if you do, I want you to post a freaking glorious case study of one of your client's successes. Here's an example of a case study that I use in my lead generation funnel. There's a link to it in the card above and also in the description. Let's go through the key highlights in detail. This case study is all about showcasing your client's results first, rather than how good of an agency you are. That comes later. You don't need to show your client's name or their websites, but you do need to show plenty of before and after photos of their success. Show ranking and traffic graphs. Show tool statistics. Show anything and everything you can to highlight your customer's success. We're gonna be getting this case study in front of other business owners and you want them to imagine being in this customer's shoes under your care. If possible, see if you can get a quote from your client as well, but that's not totally necessary. Now we're gonna highlight just how awesome your services are. Go completely overboard with this case study and mention everything you did for this client, literally everything, and tell the reader exactly how you did it. Give them the exact instructions on how to do everything you did. The goal here is to show how much work you put into your clients. You also show that you're an open book with your strategies and there's nothing funny going on. And they're welcome to try this out themselves. Some will, but most are gonna look at the sheer amount of work and want you to do it instead. And here's a pro tip. Whenever you're given a case study, always speak to the reader. Instead of talking about, here's what we did and then we did that, talk about first you do this and then you do that. Speaking to the reader establishes a connection and it shifts the focus of the case study to be bragging about your accomplishments to helping the reader with their goals. And you probably already noticed that I'm already doing this in this video. After all, we're talking about the systems that you're gonna be creating for your business. Now let's put call to actions, also known as CTAs, into your case study. The first thing you'll notice is a sidebar widget call to action that follows you down the page. Clicking on it will take you to my agency page, which has an application form. These are pretty easy to set up with a sticky widget plugin for WordPress. But your inline call to actions, the CTAs, are gonna convert the most. These are the buttons you see right in the middle of the content. I use Thrive Leads to create them, and when you click on them, it also takes you to my agency page. Now this part is very important. After you fill out the form, you need to direct people to a thank you page. We'll get to why this is so important shortly. 
Now we're gonna use Facebook ads to drive traffic to this case study and get you leads lower than your ideal cost per lead. We're about to create your lead generation machine. And if you've never set up Facebook ads before, don't worry, I got your back here too. Step one is to set up a business account by going to business.facebook.com. Next, you wanna to go to the event manager to install your Facebook pixel on your agency site. It's pretty simple. You want to install a bit of code on every page of your website. The simple way to do it is using the Facebook for WordPress plugin. After that, we're gonna stay in event manager and set up some custom conversions. This is where we tell Facebook what actually is a conversion. Label it something like agency lead inquiry and it's triggered whenever someone visits your thank you page. Boom, you just told Facebook exactly what it needs to do for you. Now let's jump into the ad manager and set up your first ad campaign. We're gonna be making a conversion campaign that's gonna bring in brand new people to read your case study. A conversion campaign tells Facebook that your goal is to convert and your conversion event is gonna be whenever anyone has gone through your form to your thank you page. You also want to exclude serving these ads to people that have already used your form before. For the targeting, set up the age, location, language, and interests that represent your target client base. Now let's create your ads. Now I'm no wizard at design or anything like that, but even I can create ads. The ad I'm about to show you has gotten me over 80 leads for less than $30 a piece. And it's stupid how ugly it is. Feast your eyes on this masterpiece. Well, we got my face and we got an arrow, and we have a traffic graph going in the positive direction. And we got some copy that first calls them out and says, hey, SEO experts, and then we tell them what they're gonna get. And we even forgot to update the year in the copy and it still runs good. I told you I'm not good at this stuff. Overall, between all my cold ads, I've generated over 1,600 leads for about 23 bucks a piece. And that's well within my ideal cost per lead. And I'm not even done yet. Now you're gonna start setting up retargeting ads. Everyone who's seen your case study but they haven't become a lead or a client yet is gonna get a very targeted ad inviting them to your offer page. Head on over to the event manager and you're gonna create a custom audience. You're gonna call it seen case study or something like that. And this audience is gonna be full of the people that have been to your case study URL. Now you're gonna go back to the ad manager again and set up a new campaign. But this time, instead of going to a cold audience, you're only gonna target folks that have seen your case study. And don't forget to exclude people that have already become leads. With your retargeting ads, be more direct. Something like, hey, you just read our case study, do you want us to do the work for you? Like this piece of junk that was generating leads for $25 each. Seriously, Matt, what's up with that graphic? With my retargeting ads, I've added on another 800 leads at the same cost as before. I think you can see by now how effective the system is and how easy it is to put in place. Just remember, all you need is to know your numbers, create a case study, and get people to read that case study and become a lead at the right price so you can make money. And it's all on autopilot.